What's up everybody, it's Joshua Kasser. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. Today's tutorial is on a split compressor effects rack that we're gonna make. So uh, I made this because if I get um, uh, like a loop pack and uh, I get a dope bass line like this one right here. Oh, let's turn this off first. I get this dope bass line, right? <laughs> So I get this and I want to, you know, do my regular compression for the, the low end of this, but I want to keep that high end kind of crazy sound. I want to keep that flowing over the top of my drums, um, but I don't want to lose uh, the top end or lose the, the low end. Um, so what I do is I split it up to the high and low end, and then what I do is add some effects to this high end so I can adjust it and play with it and make it more, uh, you know, more versatile. So if, if I turn this on and we listen now, let's see what we got. Obviously, that's just me tweaking knobs, but if you do that in a more kind of stylized way, uh, it, you can get some really dope sounds. See, you know what I mean? So uh, what I got is an auto pan and overdrive on the high end of this loop, while the low end is just doing a regular um, compression, compression ducker behind the, uh, the low end of my drums. Um, and obviously you can compress it to whatever you want. But let's go ahead and just make this real quick. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining what's going on, but if you follow along, you'll, uh, you'll get the gist. Uh, I've got some other older tutorials that explain a little bit more if you want to go check those out. But anyway, let's get started. Go ahead and uh, download the source files. And uh, first thing we got to do is take an effects rack, drop it in there, boom, expand this, drop two EQ8s on it. EQ8, boom, oh, EQ8, boom. Click here, Control R to rename, rename it low. Rename this one high, Control R. Um, come into your low and hit a low pass filter, bringing it over to about here so the one's lined up with this big line right here. Come over here to the high pass filter, boom, and bring it over here so this one is lined up to that line, boom. <laughs> Uh, you, you don't might be able to hear that too much because the But now when I solo this it's just the high end well the mids and the high rather and here It's just that low end. So first thing I'm gonna do is on the low end make sure it's highlighted I got the EQ8. I want to add a compressor to it boom and I want to come over here and I want to hit the side chain button and I want to go audio one because that's where my drums are and uh, if I turn off the high for now, just run with that low end. Coming here to the compressor, hit EQ, turn this on. And bring the frequency down and turn the Q up. And what that's doing is it's just going to compress to the kick and the snare now as opposed to every, every little thing, okay? So what I do is turn the ratio all the way up, hit it to FF1. And now come over here and turn this off to see how the bass sounds while it's being affected. Okay. Well, leave that release alone, silly. All right, so turn it down to about negative 24, and uh, we're good to go. So now my low end is being compressed, but my high end is not being compressed. So let's go over here and put some effects on that high end so we can add some more versatility to this one kind of loop that we have here. Um, first thing, add the overdrive. Uh, pull this down a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. That's kind of loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. You can also turn it down here if you want to. You can turn this the high end down, but keep the low end bassy. So let's see, let's see how that sounds. Now we're getting more bassy punch to that. But go ahead and turn the low back off. Uh, and let's run with this overdrive and see what we can do. OK, 
Okay, so I want to macro knob this, uh, this frequency, and I want it to the same macro uh, map to frequency, the on-off switch. Come over here to map mode and bring this down to 1. Um, just type 1 and 0. So now what I've done here is I've mapped the frequency to this knob, but when it's all the way down, uh, the device shuts off. So... So that's what I've done, and I explain that more in a different tutorial. But just follow along, or go look, walk, you know, go watch that one. Whatever you want to do. Anyway, uh, next thing I want to add to this is a auto filter. Oh, not auto filter. Excuse me, an auto pan. I'm put that right there. I want to turn the the, the amount up to 100%. Change the sync rate to with the music, which is to the uh, overall BPM of the track, and I want to rate to macro 2 and map the phase to macro 3 and I also want to map the on off to macro 3 as well which is now called phase and again click here to come into map, uh, map mode turn the on off to 1 and 0 1 0 cool and now the sync rate will, won't do anything but if it phasers all the way off the device will be all the way off You can hear what's going on there. It sounds pretty cool. And uh, now you can adjust the phaser, the filter frequency for the overdrive, and the sync rate for the uh, the auto pan. Uh, excuse me, the auto pan, all with these three macro knobs. Okay. Uh, the other thing you want to do too, just to be safe, is add a oops, add a limiter to both channels. Limiter here, and come over here and limiter. So now let's run them both together and see what they sound like. Get out of map mode. So you can hear you. There's a lot of possibility now with just these three macro knobs. Uh, the so I have no fear about the low end of that bass. It's going to be ducking behind our kicks over here, but staying sharp, staying in the center, staying where it should be, staying bassy. But we can affect that high end to get kind of a, a, a different sound throughout our mix. And you want to take your time, obviously, and do this right. But if, if I'm just playing around, we can get some pretty cool sounds. <laughs> Again, you can turn it back up a little bit if you want. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you today. I uh, hope it worked out for you. Uh, I'm going to throw this device on on my, my blog so you can just download it if you don't want to follow through with it. Um, one thing to remember though is you got to come in to the low end to come to the compressor and where the side chainer is side chain to whatever ad, uh, audio that you want it side chain to you're going to have to do that uh, no matter what if you just download the device but anyway hope that helped uh, we'll see you next time rate subscribe comment peace